Welcome everyone to this edition of the Wild Sports Video Blog. I'm Robert Gagliardi, Senior Editor of Wild Sports, previewing the Wyoming Cowboys men's basketball game Saturday against Nevada at home, 4 o'clock tip-off at the Arena Auditorium. And you know what? We're about at the halfway point of conference play. Every conference game is big. Every conference game is important. This is particularly important for Wyoming coming off uh, one of its poorest performances of the season, at least, at least in conference play, 56-44 loss at Utah State on Tuesday. Um, you know, it just it just wasn't the Cowboys' night. Uh, Utah State played well. They play awful well in that building there in Logan, Utah, the Spectrum. And Wyoming just couldn't get a lot of stuff going. Uh, you know, 14 turnovers, shot 36% from the field. Um, just, just It just wasn't their night, you know. And beauty, the beauty about conference play is you don't really have a whole lot of time to worry about it or dwell on it. But certainly there's some things that Wyoming needs to, needs to shore up, uh, improve upon, uh, as it moves forward in conference play, especially in this game Saturday against Nevada. I think one of the biggest keys in this game are going to be, uh, it, it, actually one of the best matchups in this game I think is going to be Larry Nance for Wyoming, A.J. West for Nevada in the post, both 6'9 guys, 6'8", 6'9 post players, very good. I know uh, West has a pretty nice little rivalry going with Nance and, and even vice versa. They've uh, both played well against each other. One thing about West is he's averaging a double-double, 12, 13 points, a little over two, 10 rebounds, almost three block shots a game, but what really makes West stand out is he's one of the best offensive rebounders in the country. He's averaging about six offensive rebounds per game, and as a team, Nevada averages about 15 offensive rebounds a game. Uh, Wyoming can't allow that to happen. They can't allow a lot of second chance points in this game against whether it's Nevada or anyone they're playing. That's going to be a very big matchup in there, and that should be a lot of fun to watch. Um, you know, I think also for the Cowboys, uh, ball protection, ball security. Uh, again, the 14 turnovers against Utah State in the last five conference games for Wyoming, they've had at least 13 turnovers, and they're averaging about 12 and a half or so. So, look, that's got to cut down. That's got to get cut down to, to single digits or 10, or, or it's just got to be reduced. Seven turnovers apiece in both halves, first half and second half at Utah State. Um, just can't afford to, to give the ball up, especially among the guards. I mean, Josh Adams and Riley Grabo, for as good as they've played all season long, and they're still very good, but they had 10 turnovers and just three assess, assists against Utah State, so that, that can't happen. And then uh, I think another interesting thing to see is just see how Wyoming comes out in this. I mean, look, we're halfway through conference play. Wyoming is what it is. You know, we know they're going to try to establish things inside with Nance and then go from there. I'm not saying they need to reinvent the wheel, but you know teams are going to use Length and size are going to pack the middle and, and make Wyoming beat them or try to make Wyoming beat them from the outside. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying that Wyoming needs to just scratch all its offensive concepts and, and go with something else, but they're going to have to figure out ways to um, to beat teams that are going to pack in a zone. That means you know knocking down more off outside shots, great. That doesn't mean Wyoming needs to be an outside shooting team only, but making a few more will help. But they've got to work on some things to generate some shots, whether that's inside or outside. You know, some, some tweaks need to be made there. But uh, but even though the, it was a tough loss, it was a disappointing loss for Wyoming, Cowboys are still tied for first place in the conference at 6-2 and two with San Diego State. Yeah, the Aztecs have the tiebreaker right now based on the win over Wyoming earlier in Laramie. Still a lot of conference play left, a lot of big games left, and this is still a very good basketball team in Wyoming. Can't overlook Nevada. I know the Wolfpack have lost five in a row. 6-13 and 13 overall, but this is a team that's uh, played Wyoming tough in the last three meetings. They've been decided by a combined nine points, and last year's game in Laramie went into overtime, and Larry Nance won it with a, with a running hook shot there in the key. So Wyoming should win this game. It needs to win this game, but it's going to need to play well to do it. Uh, I think points will be at a premium. Both teams um, are pretty good defensively. I'm predicting Wyoming 55, Nevada 48. So that'll do it for this edition of the Wild Sports Video Blog. For more Wyoming sports coverage, see uh, the Wyoming Tribune Eagle and Laramie Boomerang. Also see wildsports.net. Thank you very much. Enjoy the game, everybody.